Now, uh, another of the challenges first brought up by Nicola in the beginning was that of uh, data immensity. And uh, Giuseppe will be giving us a brief presentation of how we, how we will be thinking about that in this network. Okay. <coughs> As the Norbert Tolko this morning pointed out, we have to deal with a lot of data. Topics, experiments, pools, assessment, statistics, derived data, and so on. And uh, the promise goal is to increase the number, the quantity of this data. So there is a problem. Uh, what are the challenges in dealing with, this, with such a large amount of data? Not the storage, the technology of databases is mature enough to store uh, more or less everything. Not the retrieval. You can ask a query and come back very quickly with the answer. An SQL query is uh, answered in a few milliseconds. It's not that the problem. The problem is uh, understanding the data, not be overwhelmed by the data. It's uh, to discover pattern, insights, to understand what there is in, in the data, make decisions. And uh, last but not least, to share the result you got with the other people. This is true for the PROMISE project, but also in general for information retrieval communities. Uh, this problem is not uh, new. A lot of people in different situations experiment the same problem. Uh, disaster management, uh, traffic control, they have to deal with uh, a lot of data, looking for hidden information to make a decision very quickly. And uh, engineers, analysts are fighting with this problem. And of course there are already available solutions around. Something that is typically automatic, a little bit old-fashioned. We can talk about data mining statistics that uh, uh, ma manage the numbers, bringing out some, some insights. And the other way around, there is a, a technique that involves the end user. A classical example is information visualization. The user deals with the visual representation of the data. Even Norbert this morning used some visualization to bring you some ideas about the data. But the, the point is that uh, no one of them is strong enough uh, to deal with the very complex databases. And uh, there is a the emerging field of visual analytics that try to combine these approaches. Uh, next, please. This is the, the main idea. You have the data, and you have uh, a visualization engine and uh, a data mining engine you can start analyzing the data, figure out something uh, about the data, visualize the result, the user can look to the result, get something inside, bring it again to the data, start again the analysis, and so on, in a secret way. This is the, the idea. So combining automatic, the automatic power of computer with the human brain ability of visual analysis. Uh, next, please. Because uh, this topic is... Uh, is uh, new for, for this community. I brought here a very simple example that is, in some sense, quite close to the information retrieval world. Assume that you have the goal to compare the Jack London and Mark Twain books visually. How? Oh, how is it possible? You cannot look at the text. Uh, this is a, a possible visual analytics uh, approach. You can split the book in several chunks, paragraph, page, whatever. And you can take a measure on this paragraph, so this, on these chunks. For instance, the length of a sentence, the kind of word that you, the author is using, and so on. And after that, you can uh, convert this measure in uh, some kind of visualization. Uh, you are going to use color in this example. And oh, after that, you can visualize it. Next, please. OK, yeah, this is an example. We are, here we are measuring in the first uh, visualization, the length of the sentences. Brown means very short sentences, blue means very long sentences. And we can see quickly that the Jack London books, this one, against this about Mark Twain, typically use shorter sentences. Uh, Mark Twain uses longer sentences. But here yeah, there is a clear exception. This book is different from the others. So, you discover something. You can take this book. You can go inside, start again the analysis, 
maybe not at, at page level, but at sentence level, to get what is, there is behind. Here we have a, a little bit more complex example. We are trying to measure the richness of the vocabulary, counting the words that appear only once. And uh, we can see that uh, blue means very rich vocabulary, and brown means uh, uh, very poor vocabulary. And we can see that here there is, a, again, a, a, a big exception. Uh, Mark Twain is uh, typically a very rich vocabulary, but in this book. Why? You can go inside again. This is the idea. You got something, you cycle uh, again in, in this loop. OK, next, please. Uh, there is something. OK. So the, my, my, my presentation is about the explicit idea of trying to incorporate visual analytics within the information retrieval world. This is something that the European Commission acknowledged as uh, important, explicitly. So we are going to study specific algorithms and visualization and mechanisms for sharing collaboration, especially for the information retrieval world, for the data that you are going to manage. The last one. And uh, while promising is starting, the Wismaster project is ending, a three years project, European project, about spreading the visual analytics uh, uh, idea across the Europe. So we are ready, I am involved in this project, and uh, we are ready to bring uh, in uh, promise in this community the results of the previous project about visual analytics.